As indicated earlier, the Weibull distribution is particularly good for modeling lifetimes of items in reliability and survival analysis, and here is an example of that case. The lifetime X measured in hours of a spring that is operated continuously has cumulative distribution function capital F of X is 1 minus E to the minus lambda X to the kappa for positive support and that makes sense for the lifetime of a spring where lambda the scale parameter is 0 0.001 and kappa the shape parameter is equal to 2. Find the probability that a new spring survives 30 hours. Well in this case this is part A the probability that a new spring survives 30 hours is the same as saying that the lifetime of that spring is greater than 30. This can be written as 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 30 and you may recognize that the probability x being less than or equal to something is the same as 1 minus capital F of 30 and 1 minus capital F of X is just going to leave you with e to the minus lambda X to the kappa so this will be e to the minus lambda which is 0 0.001 times X and X in this case is 30 raised to the kappa power and kappa is equal to 2 and when you calculate that on a hand calculator or an apple you get approximately 0.9991 one. And in reliability and survival analysis, um, especially for manufactured products such as springs, we're used to a lot of nines being out front here. Just think of the reliability of one particular flight of an airplane. You don't want to get on that plane unless you've got a string of at least five, six, or seven nines out front on the uh, probability of surviving that particular flight. Now part B here says want the probability that a spring that has been operating without failure for 50 hours survives an additional 30 hours. So the way that can be written is, we'll have a conditional probability here, on the given part we know that it has been operating without failure for 50 hours so we know its lifetime is something greater than 50 hours. So that's x greater than 50 and we want the probability it survives an additional 30 hours so that's going to be the probability that its lifetime is greater than 80 given it has made it 50 hours. Now using the definition of conditional probability the probability of A given B is the probability of the intersection of these two events and the intersection of those two events is going to be the probability x is greater than 80 divided by the probability of the given event and the given event in this case is x greater than 50. Now using exactly the same argument that we had in here this is going to be 1 minus capital F of 80 divided by 1 minus capital F of 50. 1 minus capital F of 80 will be e to the minus 0 0.001 times 80 squared and 1 minus capital F of 50 will be e to the minus 0 0.001 times 50 squared and when you work out that probability you will get approximately 0.9961. Now if your new spring lasts um, 30 hours with probability 0.9991 and a used spring lasts with uh, 30 hours with probability 0.9961 the conclusion that could be drawn here, pen is messing up here, 
the conclusion here is that the spring is wearing out. A new spring is better than a used spring. And in the Weibull distribution, whenever you choose a kappa value that is greater than one, you will have a lifetime where a new item is preferred to a used item, which is the same as saying that the white item is wearing out.